Oh no! OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All Hello, right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we have some breaking breaking news on the internet but before we get to the news give the video a big thumbs up like 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 ps5 console giveaway make sure you're subscribed and following me on twitter subscribe right here on youtube and you're in the giveaway all right right to the news horizon forbidden west has been delayed it looks like it's it's pretty much 99% going to be delayed. This is breaking news coming from IGN. Sony has delayed the PlayStation exclusive Horizon Forbidden West into 2022 according to multiple reports. I'm going to share this article, but I'm also going to share my thoughts why Sony is still killing it even after this. All right. Bloomberg and Jeff Grubb both reported that Horizon Forbidden West, the upcoming sequel to Guerrilla Games, will be delayed to quarter one, 2022, which will be spring. Um, all right. Um, pr um, previously, Herman Hulse, PlayStation Studios boss, previously said it was still on track to release this holiday, but never gave us a, for, uh, a co concrete date. And so multiple reliable sources. Now, Bloomberg... The same source that said uh, uh, Nintendo Switch 4K and we got the OLED. So, um, but Jeff Grubb is, is a reliable dude. IGN is reporting it. It looks like this game is going to be pushed to quarter one. Shout out to one of my sponsors, Bucks, for letting me uh, know about this article. But here is why sony is still because I, I can already see dudes oh doom and gloom what is playstation doing oh fire jim ryan bro this is the same studio that gave us within this past year at launch spider-man miles morales at launch demon souls which i'm platinuming right now at launch packed in to your um, ps5 astro playroom one of the best pack in titles ever super short game but it lets you know why the dual sense is so epic at launch sat boy that's one two three four four triple no no sat, um astro bot is not a triple a but four exclusives at launch exclusive to playstation playstation 4 and 5 because we know games like halo every both um manufacturers are doing cross gen for the first two years or so but these are four exclusive dope games at launch bro what did they hit us with back to back in the summer returnal my game of the year still my game of the year returnal and Ratchet and Clank. Returnal and Ratchet and Clank back to back in the summer. Ratchet and Clank, one of the best looking games ever. And then in September, what are we going to have? Console exclusive Kena Bridge of Spirits will be on PC. But when you're talking about Xbox and Nintendo, they're not going to have this game uh, this year. And so now, what about their holiday? We know that in about a few weeks, we're going to be getting the Ghost of Tsushima director's cut from the island of Iki. Ghost of Tsushima, phenomenal game. Will be 4K60 on the PS5 and new content. New content, that's what's important. As well as Death Stranding director's cut will be coming. I never played Death Stranding, so this is going to be all new for me. But the director's cut, even if you play the game, there's going to be um, new DLC added to it. So when you really step back and say, oh, what is Sony doing? 
if you combined Xbox and Nintendo's exclusive console exclusives for this past year, they it does not hold a weight to what Sony by themselves, their first party studios and their exclusives have offered us in 2021. Let's keep it a buck, bro. If I'm lying, say I'm lying and then list those Xbox exclusives and those Nintendo exclusives in the comment section of this video. I just want to keep it a buck. All right. So it's still it's still a bummer that Horizon isn't coming this um, this holiday. But PlayStation fans, when you keep things in perspective, Sony has been delivering all year long so even if this game is pushed past to spring plenty and plenty of games if you're just now getting a ps5 like we know that the big stocks have just come in bro you got tons and tons of games to play and these are just first party games third party games we know the usual cod i'm gonna be on nba 2k22 heavy on my gaming channel we all know those games are gonna um, be there as well so um, if you're a um, gamer, you have a PS5, still a lot of dope games to play. Horizon Forbidden West looks like it's very well um, delayed to 2022. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Peace.